Welcome to Brasov. We have finally arrived at our destination. It was a really pleasant train ride. I actually slept for most of it because the motion just puts me to sleep like a baby. But Sam did film some of the, the scenery and it was really pretty. The fall colors are starting to change. So yeah, now we're in the town. We're gonna check it out. We're actually feeling a little bit hungry. So I think lunch will be the first order of business and then we'll start exploring. I attempted writing a penny farthing. We were in Germany earlier this summer and I was not very successful. I think these are more for decoration and it's actually attached to the bike rack so you can just leave your bike stack it there. So ready for lunch. Better believe it. And we thought we were going to a local Romanian restaurant, but it turns out it's Hungarian. I suppose it's close enough to share a border together. And the bread has arrived. Ooh, that's a nice loaf. It looks Ooh. homemade. It looks Look at nice that. and homemade. Look Won't at how thick that is. Why don't you take a bite for us? Whoa. This is gonna be nice with my soup. Nice. Crispy on the outside, really soft on the inside. Just need some butter now. My soup has arrived and I'm very excited. It's a hen soup with vegetables and it has huge semolina dumplings. Show us how like big. Bigger than my spoon. Look at that. Wow, That's pretty good. Close up shot of that. Yeah, and it's nice and hot. It's steaming, so let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's almost like a bread dumpling. Or like polenta. It's good. So tell us, what are you having for lunch? So I'm a hungry boy today. The salad right here is just my starter. It looks like it has a generous amount of local, I think it's kind of a goat cheese, farmer's cheese. Mm. And later on we'll be getting a goulash, so I'm excited about that. And you're going to share it with me? Mm, we'll see. I've had goulash in quite a few different countries and I absolutely love it. Let's try the Hungarian version over here. Hungarian version in Romania. <laughs> so we got lots of meat, we got carrots, potatoes. Mm. It's delicious. It's piping hot, which is great because it's cold outside. And the meat is so tender, it just melts right in your mouth. Our lunch and now we are checking out the town. This is actually one of those trips that we didn't plan too well. We just decided to come to Brasov spur of the moment. So we don't really know what the main attractions are, which means this afternoon we're just going to be walking around and figuring it out as we go. Off for a few hours. What are your first impressions so far? Well, already I can tell you I like it a lot more than Bucharest. It definitely has more of a medieval feel here and it's more well preserved as well. You can walk around and there's lots of cool architecture and buildings and great restaurants and pubs to drop into. Yeah, it's very colorful and lots of renovations happening. Exactly. We are visiting the narrow street in Brasov and we've seen pictures of people jumping and touching both sides of the walls. So we're going to try to both attempt that. So at its narrowest, this is 1.3 meters. So let's keep walking towards the most narrow part. And I think this is probably it. been enjoying about the city so far all these little side streets and alleys it's really easy to escape the busy sections of the city that's quite the fancy structure behind you yeah we're checking out st. Catherine's gate 
part of a medieval fortification system. Statue with no explanation. It looks like children feeding off of a wolf. taking the bus into the city earlier this morning we saw this big fortress on top of a hill and we decided we wanted to go visit so this afternoon we decided to climb we've arrived and it's right here behind me I don't know the name of it because we still haven't set foot inside because I wanted to have my little snack but I can tell you that you get some really good views of the new town from this very spot What happened? Well, it appears we came too late to visit the actual fortress. This is not the first time we've done this while traveling. But we're gonna go back, take a siesta, and show you some Romanian nightlife in the city later on. All right, guys, so this is Brasov on a Thursday night. It's looking a little bit quiet, and I'm not seeing a lot of people, but I'm sure there has to be a neighborhood where the pubs are open and people are hanging out. So let's go find one. So that's a wrap from Brasov. We had a really good time here. It reminded us of a place we had visited in Europe and it took us all day to figure it out. That place is Tallinn, Estonia. Anyways, we had a really good time and tomorrow we're off to Brand Castle. To find Dracula.